Welcome back to another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Today, we have the guys with the balloons and the girls who will be seeking. So, before we go any further, let's ask you to go ahead, comment and subscribe to the channel. It's new. Let's get it going. Let's get it to a thousand before the end of the year. And so, without further ado, pop the balloon or find love. Let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Sandra. Sandra, how old are you? 39. I okay. had to think about that, sorry. <laughs> no, no, actually I'm 38. I'll be 39 in November. I'm so sorry, guys. It's okay, the nerves. Yes. <laughs> All right, and now Sandra, what do you do? I am a phlebotomist. Um, I recently um, got into a lead position, but I've been doing phlebotomy for 11 years. Wow. Um, and I don't mean to say um, but I've been doing phlebotomy for 11 years, but I also travel as an independent contractor as well. Very nice. Okay, yeah. now what are some things I could do for fun? For fun, I like to do. Mm, you can hear it in my voice. I'm so sorry. So for fun, I like to do anything that takes me out of my comfort zone. Okay. So recently I tried kayaking on my, my own. Mm -hmm. So that was different for me. So like anything that takes me out of my comfort zone. Okay, very yeah. cool. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Uh, some things that I do look for in a man is um, a man that's going to prioritize me in the relationship, a man that's going to allow me to rest in my femininity, a man that doesn't, um, oh, no, no, excuse me. Oh, I'm speaking of everything that I do want. So, yeah, a man that prioritizes me in the relationship, a man that allows me to rest in my femininity, a guy that's just going to shower me with gifts and love <laughs> and just everything great. Okay. No, no, I think that's a that mistake she made right over there, so... Think she made a mistake. You're leading with the wrong things and you're saying shit just for shits and giggles. There is no man that can allow you to rest in your femininity. You are either a feminine woman or someone who shows more masculine traits. So if you think it's up to a man to make you rest in your femininity, that is rubbish. You're either a peaceful woman with feminine traits or you're not. Showering you with gifts, that's also one of the wrong steps to start off with. Because at the end of the day, you are not saying, what do I get in return? What makes you such a wonderful partner that I'm going to be showing you, showering you with gifts? I'm not surprised for those balloon pops. But let's continue. Okay, nice. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Some deal breakers are, I would have to say, a guy that does not prioritize me, um, a guy that has a wandering eye, mm. uh, and what else? Uh, I mean, that's good enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we did get a couple of pops. Let's yeah, go we... on over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, let's start right here with your name and age. Uh, Hubert, and I'm 37. And Hubert, what do you do? I'm, a software and I'm in software sales. Okay. Yep. Very cool. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, well, one, I have a child. My son is my first priority. Uh, so when someone says they want me to prioritize them, that's a red flag for me. But also, uh, gifts isn't my love language to give. Like, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't believe in showering people with gifts. I feel like that's earned. Um, and if you're my partner and I've, and I feel, you know, motivated to do so, I will do so. But like, if that's what you coming in, like, I want to be showered with gifts, wrong guy. And that is exactly what I was saying just now. You don't come in demanding certain stuff and expecting certain stuff. You have to, first off, the guy mentioned love languages. You have to come in with an open mind. And while the relationship is going, then you can, you know, subtly, you know, disclose what things you like, the things you don't like. And then each party can adjust to make the relationship work. 
But let's continue. Yep. Got it. Now, um, is he someone that's your type? Uh, he could be. He could be. But I truly believe if I was your woman, you would want to shower with me with gifts. Possibly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go to our next sure. pop balloon. All right, if we can start with your name and age. I'm Johnny, I'm 38. And Johnny, what do you do? I am a traffic control man. I'm an artist, I'm a photographer. I do a whole lot of stuff. Okay, cool. <laughs> and so why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, like, I know my priorities. I mean, my priorities is my kids. I'm a single father, so I got to, I mean, you feel me? Okay. You feel me? <laughs> Gotta put the kids first. Yes. All right. But have you ever heard the saying, if you take care of yourself first, then you could take care of everyone else? That so you, you wouldn't prioritize your, yourself first, then your I do. woman? Then my kids. Your kids, kids. is going to be your priority, period. Bingo. Right. Well, so it's everything. not, it shouldn't be a competition between your children and your you. You feisty. No, I'm not fighting like it. I'm it. just saying. I like it. You feisty. I mean, I think both guys just know made some good points. I mean, you have kids. Okay, there is no woman on the face of the earth that I'm going to make my priority over my family. We have to understand that once you get together, your priority is the strengthening and the survival of the relationship. And I guarantee if you ask her if her man will be her priority, there is going to be a challenge getting that out. So, with that being said, guys, continue. Prioritize yourself first before any female, unless she is now a wife. Then you can consider that. You have made a commitment to her. Should till death do us part. However, putting this forward that you want a man to prioritize you, that's childish. Do better, man. I think you. <laughs> no, I was done. Finish. <laughs> All right. So now, is he someone that's your type? No. Okay. And why not? I just no. I I. I can't really say. I it might be the tattoo on the face. That's giving me like street it's vibes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying it. I mean, everybody me, like, got a past vibes. though. Like, but right, I'm, right. I'm very positive. I'm an optimistic person. Okay, but I understand. Sure. Cool. Thank you. Let's head on okay. back, and we did get a pop back here. If we can start off with your name and age. Uh, my name is La, I'm 40. Okay. And what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur, investor, you know. Uh, yeah, pretty much. All right. And <laughs> so why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just because she said, started off with like shower you with gifts and things. And like you said, that's that's earned. I'm not a selfish person. I do give people gifts, but you couldn't, shouldn't come expecting it at first, you know. And I also have two children. That's going to be like the number one priority until you know they have age okay. yeah <laughs> so now is he someone that's your type um he's physically fit but again the tattoos i mean i got a tattoo but i only have one i'm not really attracted to the guys with a lot of tattoos okay all right cool we did get a few more pops let's start here with your name and age okay my name is micah mm -hmm. and i'm th uh, 42. And Michael, what do you do? Uh, I'm a networking engineer in the cybersecurity field. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Yeah, I ended up popping because just uh, the energy, I don't think I was kind of gravitating to it. Okay. So I just decided to pop. Okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. Cool. So is Micah someone that you would go for? No. Okay, why not? Uh, I guess it's height. Just but I've dated short guys before, but I, I just don't feel attraction. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Brian, 38. Okay. And Brian, what do you do? I do, I'm an IT. I do IT. Um, I'm also a personal trainer. Okay, cool. yeah. And why did you end up popping your balloon? 
I mean, she seemed a little managed to me, you know what I'm saying? And I just, I get that little managed vibe from her. Um, then I got tattoos too, so. So he thinks she's a little managed. I'm not 100% sure about this one, but I kind of get that feeling as well. That kind of dominant personality, that kind of talk back type of persona. I think I don't think it as I don't think it's as pronounced as he says, but I think there's a bit right there, which you know he may consider as too much. But can knock a guy. I mean, it's his choice. So let's see. So that's another thing. But I mean, I just get that little managed vibe. I mean, I'm cool. You know, I'm. You know, I I like that. You know, she's she pretty. You know, but it's a little managed. Manish. Do you know Manish. what he means by that? Can you elaborate? I can elaborate. Basically, she, basically she liked to take control. I could tell she liked to take control, and I'm the guy that liked to take control. Of, you know, in my relationship, you know, I lead. So, you know, and that's just what it is. Okay. Okay. Now, is he someone that's your type? Uh, no. <laughs> you had to think about that for a bit. What makes him not your type? Ah, uh, the fact that what he said. Okay. Um. Because I, I don't think I like to take control. I like for my man to be in control. So she doesn't like him because of what he said. I mean, there's nothing, you know, off rip, nothing abnormal like that. It's just she doesn't like what he says. Listen carefully, guys. Okay. Okay. Right. Dig it another pop down yep. here. Let's start with your name and age. Name's Chad, I'm 38. And Chad, what do you do? I own a mobile pet care business. Oh, okay. Right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? The first thing I heard was being showered with gifts. The second thing was when you said, oh boy, down the way, it was too short and we're eye to eye. I figured <laughs> I'm in the same boat as him, so mm. yeah. Okay, all righty. So now is he someone that's your type? Like, <laughs> just, <laughs> hey, he's being hopeful. Man, they're grilling her about the gift thing. They are grilling and the thing about it, you know. You know what's funny? All of these guys are gonna be seen as mean men because they weren't jumping to show her a stranger with gifts. They are all gonna be seen as mean men in the comments and that they are shallow and they are stupid and they don't understand. However, the way you lead into something the way you engage in conversation with strangers, you have to be careful and understand that the first perception is what's gonna last. The first impression is what is gonna last. But let's continue. Awful. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> um, no. Mm -mm. Okay, and why not? Why not for him? Just no attraction. No. Okay, all right. Well, let's go over to our last unpopped balloon. Let's start with your name and age. I'm Danny, 38. And Danny, what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, very cool. So you do have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I mean, she's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out a little more about her. You know, I'm not scared of none of them standards and nothing like that. But, I mean... It's just really on her, to be honest with you. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what she really about because, you know, everybody want to be shy with gifts. Everybody want, you know, to show, be shown that they are cared for. That's why I took that ass. But what are you going to do in return, you know, or to earn that? And here is a good reasoning. What makes you so special that you're going to demand gifts of rip? You know, I believe if gift giving is something that some guys like to do, they will do it anyway. However, if you put it on the table as a requirement, a prerequisite for dealing with you, then there must be a counterbalance. Why should I come in expecting to be a gift giver? What makes you stand out from all the other ladies? what makes you so special and that's basically it not quid pro quo 
what am I gonna do in return? Mm, I don't know if I like that. You ain't gotta like it. I'm just saying, I don't like And there you go. She cannot answer the question. What do you bring to the relationship to demand gift giving? She doesn't like it. It doesn't make her feel good. So she is gonna basically skip away, shy away from her part of the equation. But let's hear how it goes from here. Hey, shine on with gifts without you like, don't like with to the, shower you lady with gifts. Look, it's it's about my little language is like but reassurance. But everybody is zeroing in on me saying showering gifts. Well, that's the first I thing you said. I also mentioned sweetheart. resting in my femininity as well. Well, let me tell you something. So the reason high, why they the reason why they said that is because you didn't provide something like like what you do for a man for because that's easy to say. Any woman can come out here and say, "Yo, give me some gifts," and I can bust out the bank card and be like, "Wow," you know what I'm saying? But like, what makes you like worthy to receive that other than you just being fine? There you go. That's a good response. What makes you so different from all the other ladies who may not, who might not have come out expecting gifts? What makes you stand out? You're fine, but that's not good enough. Well, if and when you become my man, you would know, and I would be your woman, and that's in every sense. So... And there she goes with the word salad again. You have not said anything that makes you stand out. You're just a mumbling, jumbling <laughs> clump of flesh, bunch of cells. There's nothing you're showing that makes you different and all of that. But let's go. Like what? <laughs> like what the hell does that mean? Like <laughs> I mean, like, what does being my woman mean? Like, you know what I mean? What does being your woman need? That means giving you support, giving you, you know, nurturing you when you need, you know, when you need to, um, just loving you with a pure heart. How old are you again? I'm um, 38. Okay, we're the same age. All right, where you stay? I live in Wisconsin. Wisconsin? But I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Yeah. How right. about you? I'm from Georgia. Georgia, okay. You know, okay. Atlanta. Are you is... thinking of a question or what are you doing? You just staring? I'm asking something. Ask you something. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Like, so throughout the relationships, you're 38, you've been in multiple relationships, right? So, what's something that you learned in your past relationships that you can put into your future relationship to make it last longer? Some... That is a good question because that question demands you to look within yourself and say what have i learned what could i do better what can i be better at and that can be a difficult conversation for a lot of ladies to have but let's see how she handles it something i've learned from my past relationships uh as I would you have, as a person you know as, what I'm they help you grow as a person and say, okay, I'm going to take this say, into my next relationship and it's going to last longer. I would have to say it would have to be patience. I've had to work, you know, on my patience over the years. Um, and I've learned to take my time. Okay. Are we good? She finds she just seemed like a lot though. It's like what is a lot? <laughs> what is it just seemed like you know what I'm saying? Like Well, can I ask him a question? Yeah, ask me something. All right. So on the scale of one to ten, and you can't use seven, um, how <laughs> important how important is it to you that your next relationship ends in marriage? Let me be honest with you, I don't want to even get into a relationship unless it can unless I see it. I'm, all right. Well, you're here for love, so. Well, my be honest with you, my grandmother just passed, right? I'm sorry. So, so I appreciate it. But I seen my granddaddy stay by her side, or she was by his side, till she could no longer be there. So if I can't envision you being old next to me, I'm not even really gonna give you no energy. To be honest with you, I can give you all the energy of the world, or I could just forget you exist. Mm. 
Mm. That's you know what I'm hard. saying? So. You we we got to make a choice. Are you popping or are we walking up there and ta making a match? What you want to do? Come on, brother. You are going on fine until it is not up to her, my G. Because she will go up there with you because, look, we have to understand. Women cannot take being rejected. Women cannot handle rejection. You may not even be the top five on her scale of the men standing there. But the fact that you are the only one with a balloon, she will take you there with her. She's 39. She's not 25. If it were 25, a lot of 25 years old would bust that balloon and say, look, I'm young. There's a lot of men out in the street who are after me. But she may not have that amount of unanswered DMs in her DM. So she will take you up there, my bro. It's for you to stand on business, right? You seem confused at this moment. You're not sure what you want. Get yourself together, my brother. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> come on. So. Were you so All right, right. <laughs> come on. Well, if you hesitant. No, I'm not hesitant. She's I'm not. to figure out what's it like because. Nah. Let's walk up here. Okay. Come on, come on, come oh. on, come on. We got to walk back. <laughs> you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> I'll stand. Stand over here. Okay. All right. This is saying like an... Oh, boy wants to bust the balloon. <laughs> oh, boy wants to bust that balloon. I can guarantee that. Vest me. It, a relationship is an investment. What I'm saying it's gonna be a mutual fund. <laughs> yeah, that's so what you're, a relationship you're, is. You're, you're come to me, and I got come to you. You with long distance and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I'm open to long distance. I'm clingy. Are you? Yeah, I'm talking about I wrap around you like a spider web. <laughs> I'm done. I cannot take him serious. <laughs> Any final questions? Are you going to pop or are you are you going to stay with her? <sighs> All right. You can head on back. <laughs> Come on, brother. You know you wanted to do that a long ago. You just wanted your five minutes of fame on the spotlight. Like, seriously. Do better, man. Do better. <laughs> Sweating and everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately. Yes. Yes. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's Absolutely. go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this mic. Thank you so much. <laughs>